Welcome back everyone to Wellstopia. We are back here in Wellington where we are going to be building our home. I've started off by prepping with making a couple of trees up here in the front. With my mailbox in front, this is sort of a gateway into my home, which is going to be a lighthouse. You see, why a lighthouse? Well, just look where I am relative to the river. I am in a peninsula with a sharp bend, and I figure that a lighthouse here could be a good way of warning that there is a major bend in the area, and you see it's a bit tough to navigate in that area. So another reason, I think, in which to have a lighthouse in the area. So I will be making a lighthouse, and this is going to be a smaller version of the one that I'm planning to do on my in the in my base over at the Pine River Valley where in Pinesmith is going to have a one that is for the harbor so therefore you're going to begin with placing some boom blocks at the bottom and I've come with a pattern in order to make things a little bit reasonably, hopefully interesting, at least more interesting than my usual patterns for homes. Now on this side we are going to have the, yeah, this is where we're going to have the furnace and all. Ah, yes, and now here I figure that where we have the furnace, we're not going to have wood showing there. Instead, I have brought some polished diorite. Yeah, I know there are some people out there who just really love this stuff. <coughs> but I think that it represents some sort of material that you would use for it. So it's more there for effect of trying to keep the ashes out and stuff like that. Maybe it's got some ashes on it, which is why it's that color. So yeah, it's not the principal building color. Of course, it's just a little bit of interior there. All right. Unfortunately, it is raining there, but hopefully the rain will be over by the time we have a major step there. Now, over here, I don't know what I'm going to do about windows along this area. Probably not going to be any major windows due to the fact that we've got the stairs, because this is where the stairs are going to be. But I will likely have some windows here, since that's near the kitchen area. So I figure here and here will be without, and that's where I have my window there. Here we are going to have a chimney in the back, so I may have to replace some of this bone block with the chimney. But the next stage after this is that here we are going to have uh, let's get another two layers of bone there. So we're going to have two layers for our... Oh, boy. I'm spruce. Yes, yeah, spruce, of course. Boy, I have all the spruce in this build, and I'm going to get the name for a moment. All right. Yeah, that will be for the spruce. So we'll have spruce. Oh, uh, no, this won't be spruce because this is where we're going to have the fireplace. And you don't want something wooden near the fireplace area. So therefore, for now, we'll just do this. I may cut out an aperture for a window at a later time when I see where I really need windows at. But yeah, that looks good. And actually, I want to put the second set of stairs here. Good and good. Good. That helped me to get up and down easily. Also. Serves a double purpose. Now I may cut out some of that in order to get a. Well, actually, this is. Do I already have two layers? No, no, that's the second layer. Good. Is what I want. Are, I want two layers for this. Good. And. Then I'll see how the third layer looks, because that's going to be where things are going to get tricky. Mm, yeah, okay, leave that like that. All right. 
and this is oh yes yeah, right that's the one we're leaving because we what I want there is well I want to have stone blocks there so if I want stone blocks there then what I should do is cook up some stone and then I can make stone blocks out of that all right now I want four now there'll be four levels in this area but the other thing I want to do with the stairs is over here actually I'm going to do this outside because I think it's too likely that I'm going to set myself up for fall if I do that otherwise oh how about actually if I do yeah right here Alright, first thing I want to do is to... Alright, so this is going to be the top of that. And over here, top of that. Alright. Uh, let's finish this over... Oh yeah, sorry, because we've got a window there. And that's our two layers, so over here, and then this will be two layers. Good. So we see I have this going all the way through it. Then on the outside, this is where we are we're gonna have some oak. And I want this to be Oh, this is gonna be tricky. I think I'm going to have to do it next to here if I want to get the effect I want. Because what I want to do here is an... Yeah, that's it. Perfect. The idea there is to have an upside down stair there. Which is why I want to do it carefully because if I didn't do it carefully I probably would have gotten an upside right stair. And the idea there is to go all the way around here and get myself an upside down stair and that will be each level then on top of that there will go another set of bone blocks and I'm going to repeat that pattern up for three levels high but let me see what this looks like before I <laughs> well okay it doesn't look like much on that end because I've got all that covering it up so let's see well I think it has Potential. Well, actually, it's going to look like a bit of a modern house, isn't it? <laughs> I never thought of that. All right. So I'll be back after I fill in the next three levels and see what it looks like at that point. Welcome back, everyone. I have completed the lower floor. Now I'm starting up on the second. And I just remembered, of course, I'm building a balcony on the second floor. So therefore, I can't do what I'm doing over that end. So that's a little bit more on the way of variations shall we say so therefore this end is going to be going out a little bit I would have to decide what I want to do about this should the ah yes at one time I was thinking of having a different type of support system I'm gonna to have to have some pillars here so therefore I'm gonna go out for two more and then We'll create some pillars in which to help support these items so that we don't have the whole thing collapse on us. No, we don't want to do that. Let's see. So let's go and take care of that. All right, good. So therefore, that will take us out there. And the reason I'm going out for three is because I think that is what reaches the 20 by 20 area I'm allowed for my house oh actually the two in the corner I cannot all right I can I can't use slabs for those I have to use planks instead because I am going well let's just grab that out just before I came back on, I grew a couple of oaks, which is why you still see some leaves up there. 
so that I could get some more wood because I ran out of wood during this. I know, imagine that. But fortunately, it's... Okay, okay, the last sapling finally decided to grow. And I can get this up there and... Five. All right, so I have a balcony to look over the river. As soon as I can get this in position here. So therefore, I've got pillars of trees at the on one side, and I have pillars of bone on the other. And we'll see how that works out. Good. Uh, of course, I will need a fence around this. And the fence will naturally be of spruce. For a nice contrasting color. And how many sticks have I got? Four sticks. Actually, that might... Uh, yeah, I'll put this in here. And that'll give me six stairs. Oh, I think I'll need more than that. So, therefore... Myself a couple more sticks. Good. Get some of those. And let's get some of those. Now pick those things back up. And let's head back up here. Good. And let's get some. Hmm. Ah. Uh, yeah, actually, I think that will be the best way of doing that. All right, so let's go in here. So we are actually going to need some wood over here. And the best way of doing that is to get one of these, one of these, and... Two of those, and I think that will give us what we want. I think... Oh, perfect! Good! And now I can look out over the river. Let's see what's out in the distance. A desert, that's what it, Okay, it's not the most perfect view, you could say. It's not a view of the city or anything like that. It's a view of the desert, but also of the river. All right. So that is our... Ooh, I guess I can move my bed now, since my bed is going to be up here and where would be a good place for a bed uh, for now I'll put it right here all right and that's the bed and now I've got to go and continue and here we are I think the top could have been taller especially when we do the big lighthouse over in Pinesmith but I guess for well actually maybe not because I'm looking at it from across the desert but the ones who need it the most are going to be way down here and I cannot see the light I Manage to foul up the main purpose of this entire build. Yay! Right, okay, here, I don't see it much. Right. So, therefore, I am going to have to change what I am doing there. So, let's head back inside. And see what we have to do. I figured up into here. Good. Because... Oh, and I have to get up there. Hmm. And I had just stowed away my ladders. Oops. All right, well, that's what dirt's for. So therefore, let's go and take care of this. And what I'm going to do is to move the lights to the outer edge. I was thinking of having a nice big concentrated area for a lamp or something like that, but that is not going to do at all. So instead, 
I will put them like that. Mm, actually, uh, oh, perfect. Okay. And let's see if that does anything for me. Of course, now i got to get down from... Oh, here it is. Yeah. All right, now let's get down and let's have a look. As soon as I... Oh, yeah, here we go. And back down. That bottom stairway is not much... Oh, yeah, here I... Get on running into problems here, so I eventually decided just to encase this thing in stone brick because the idea there is to have a threshold like that without interfering with the uh, maybe a hearth, I guess, without interfering with this section of the build, which is why I did that. Good. Now let's go back out here and see. But of course, the real test is going to be at night or when it gets dark and oh boy that is on cue oh let's see because someone's probably going to go to sleep and keep me from doing it. unfortunately i ran out of bone blocks which is, and as you can see there with actually you go through midnight a little bit day this, so let's see what i can find and I'll get yeah now that's nice now of course i'm not down at the river, but hopefully I could see those. Yeah, I could see the pumpkins from there. Good. Now uh, here it's tough. But in this case, if you're this close, you could probably see the lighthouse itself. So I'll probably put some torches on the outside around there so that it is clearly visible. And that's what I can do there. So that takes care of the really, really close scenario but do the same thing here over here and over here good now here I had no trouble seeing the pumpkins and so I will put there and there so that should be plenty of one two one okay all right that should be plenty of light so that Wherever you are, you can see it. So if you're far away, you'll be able to see what's on top. And if you're really up close, you can see the torches that are surrounding the area. Now, what I'm not liking about this build are the missing bone blocks. Not only just the two on top, but, for example, the inconsistency of having no bone blocks surrounding the window up there adding a window up there so that it all looks better. But before I do that, I'm going to need more bone blocks. And that means skeleton farming, all that fun stuff. And that also means that I won't have enough bone blocks for the big build. That means I like a huge amount of bone in order to get that. So even though I was thinking of starting that next time, I think I'll have to postpone that. But I do have an idea for the next episode back at the... River Valley, and you'll see that when I return for the next episode of Piney Plays Minecraft Wellstopia.